Hello again. What's this you say? Uh, three videos, no videos in two years and in three videos in less than two weeks. Amazing. Anyway, uh, something has uh, happened recently, <clears throat> which means that I, I have to um, buy some shoes. Basically, I've got a new job and the new job requires me to wear business casual, smart casual at work, which um, means um, sort of shirt, trousers and shoes, etc. Um, and no tie because I, I absolutely will not wear a tie for anybody um, so of course these can't these don't count these beauties do not count because um, they're boots um, and are considered the more casual end so not the business casual so I've had to buy some new shoes so I had a had a think about it and initially I wanted the 1461 made in England which is basically the same as these but three hull so they cut off here um, and uh, you know the thick lever etc but I just thought having those um, on top of a brand new job and trying to learn the new job and everything else while trying to break uh, a pair of 1461 made in England shoes in for a month is going to be an absolute bloody nightmare um, so I shied away from them and I saw something online that I thought might be a good alternative so I'll put these here for a second. Boom. So I got these in uh, Debenhams, which if you're not in the UK or Ireland is a kind of a big um, department store type of affair. Uh, now these were reduced from 100 euro or something to 80. Um, now they're kind of 1461-esque. They are Doc Martins, they're the made in China ones. So it's a good idea, you know, it's a good a chance for me to be able to understand the differences between the made in China ones and the made in England ones. Um, but the the main thing, the main thing that kind of, apart from the price, because I have very little money at the moment, the main thing that kind of swayed these for me um, was that they're substantially... Um, softer leather than 1461s or indeed the 1460 made in England um, as you can see it's it's basically two th two pieces of thin leather which are, uh, are sewn together um, so they're going to be easier to break in they're going to be easier to walk around in and they're still docks so that's that's fine you know they've got the ooh, that's weird hmm when you're just taking these out of the box now, it's um, instantly I'm feeling a quite a dramatic difference between the soles. Um, now, obviously, actually, I'd like to feel. I don't know it sounds bizarre, but I'd like to see the difference between the 1461s made in China and these, because this feels really, really soft, and like it's just going to give way fairly quickly actually whereas these are rock hard you know that's two years of, that's two years of wear and a lot of wear you know two years of solid wear whereas that obviously these are fresh out the box but that doesn't like I can put my finger into into the sole hmm so we'll see how they uh, they bear up um, Yeah, that's quite strange. Like I'm noticing quite a few differences. Um, you can see this kind of skirt bit on here on the Made in England it hangs over a fair amount actually. I can sort of get you into there. Hangs over quite a bit. Whereas the skirt on here is pretty minimal actually. Tiny, uh, in fact. So, and the colour difference is substantial. Sorry, waving the camera around. Quite substantial. Like you can see with these, there is a, like the honeycomb um, bits underneath, you know, which are visible here. I mean, exceptionally visible here. 
well, okay. But as I say, these are 80 euro, um, which is still a good wedge of money when you don't have it, but these are, these are 80 euro compared to, I forget what the 1461s were in the Made in England, but bloody expensive now. 160, 180 quid or something. Was these were 80. So we'll see how these go anyway, but um, without comparing them any more to my my made in England, because it's probably a bit unfair, because they're in a different, in my opinion, in a different league anyway. And these are cheap versions of a 1461 anyway. Uh, like I say, I bought them because it's it's much softer leather, and it's going to be well, bare minimum amount of um, breaking in time. But that's them anyway. Um, so I'll be bouncing around my new office uh, quite merrily um, for hopefully some time to come. Although, as I say, I'm not entirely convinced by that sole. Um, I have heard reports that the Made in China shoes and boots, the soles wear out incredibly quickly. And I was assuming that they were basically these but without the made in england lettering wherever it is oh, jesus christ one hand again there made in england i assumed it was those but without that and i couldn't figure that out because there's, as i say there's barely any wear on those they're fantastic soles you know it's two years worth of wear as i said in the last video there's nothing missing barely tread wise was i i can guarantee that within a year most of that is going to be gone most of most of this for sure most of this grip for sure it's going to be like that here and here i mean when you look at the these boots that's where that's where i wear them down and that's two years it's taken to do that and a bit at the back so you can say within a year because this is so much softer so much softer that will be worn down and that will be worn down but anyway uh i suppose the good thing is i'm not going to be stomping around in the streets like you know doing everything like I do in these I do literally everything in those um, uh, in fact those have been up a mountain um, whereas these um, it's just literally drive to the office walk around the office and come home um, so maybe I mean okay it's still eight eight to ten hours a day for five days of every week but um, maybe they'll wear down not as bad I don't know we'll see so anyway, that's that's the new shoes. I just thought I'd show them. Um, these are, in case you didn't catch it at first, these are Doc Martin's Coronado 3i shoe in a size 10. Um, and as I say, they were reduced from 100 to 80. There was a version kind of like this with black soles and black stitching, but it looked more like a runner to me than a shoe. So I, I thought it was probably a, a bad idea. I just thought I'd show you. Let me know what you think of these in the in the comments. Have you had any of these? How long did they last? Um, if you want, uh, if you want something with me trying them on or putting them on or whatever, just say. Sounds a bit weird, but you know what I mean. All right, take care.